Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with this very, very simple lesson. The voice, not the drama. The voice, not the drama. I'm still on 1 Kings chapter 19, the story of Elijah. I always tell you that I'm fascinated by that man. And there are things that he did that really, wow, this man was a very interesting character. I mean, he swung from a strong choleric reaction to the, the, the prophets of Baal and the strong chol choleric demonstration of God's power. And then he, he, he just swam into the, the river of melancholy. I mean, the river of the melancholia with, with, with depression just by the voice of Jezebel. Now, there's something that I, I, I read that was very, very fascinating. The Bible says, now when God came to talk to him, when God came to talk to Elijah, and uh, there were certain things that happened. The Bible says that there was earthquake, there was thunder, lightning, all the things. I mean, there was, there was, it was very hushious. I mean, a very fearful um, thing that was taking place over there. Many, 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 many things were taking place. And those were quite very dramatic things were taking place. But then there was a little line over there, but God was not in them. And you know, one of the things that I recognized was this. The Bible says God was not in it. God was not in the thunder and all the drama that God was not in it. But God spoke with a still small voice. Are you aware that sometimes when we're in certain situations, we're expecting a thunderous response from God, a response full of drama. And we are looking out for the drama that's in such a way that we're neglecting the still small voice speaking by us, in us. We're so concentrated on the drama, and especially we charismatic, you know. We're so used to the drama that sometimes there, there, there are many things that are happening. All those drama, 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 drama. But the Bible says God was not in those things. He was in the still small voice. That was what was most important. He spoke in the still small voice. That is where the, uh, that is where the action is. But we are so oriented and we are so, we are so preoccupied with the drama that sometimes we miss the still small voice. That voice doesn't speak from the outside, it speaks from inside us. Sometimes God speaks in our spirits and God whispers. He doesn't need the drama to make himself known. No, he's already God, he can choose to come by the drama, yes. But sometimes we are so focused on the drama that we can't, we are not able to hear. The noise of the drama overshadows the still small voice in us. And here's what God is saying. Listen to the still small voice. So sometimes the most important thing that you need is a clear word from God that is not going to be seen in the drama, but it's going to be heard in the still small voice in us. What we need to hear is not in the drama. What we need to hear may be in the still small voice. And because we are focused on the drama, we are not, we are negligent, we, 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 we neglect the, the still small voice. And the simple things that God would sometimes use to talk to us or speak to us, we may ignore them and be looking out for that powerful, earth-shattering move of his. Earthquake. Well, he, the Bible says, but God was not in them. All those things that happened, God was not in them. He was in the still small voice. So you know what? Well, sometimes, don't focus on the drama. Focus on the voice. Focus on the voice. That's where you have clear instructions for tomorrow. As usual, the choice is yours. See you later.